In January of 2008, I had a uh, abdominal surgery and the surgeon noticed um, one small tumor that had not been there in the previous surgery. He took it out, sent it to biopsy, and it came back as being diagnosed with uh, mesothelioma. I went home and was surfing the web until um, something drew my eye to uh, the Mesothelioma Applied Research Foundation. The Mesothelioma Applied Research Foundation was started because there was a lack of research funding for mesothelioma. Let's face it, there wasn't even a treatment approved for malignant mesothelioma. It was really in the dark ages when we were really trying to define the disease and try to you know, identify uh, what this disease was. Hi, my name is Sandy Robb. I'm a mesothelioma patient. I was diagnosed in 2010. Four years ago when I first got this diagnosis, I decided to do what everyone does. I got on the internet and tried to figure out what does this mean? Everything in medicine is about informed consent. Oftentimes people are making these decisions, but they haven't truly been informed about all of their options. I was contacted by Mary Haskell from the foundation, and she not only explained about the foundation and what it does, but also put me in direct touch with the physicians at the National Cancer Institute. Back in 2000, I was diagnosed with pleural mesothelioma and the doctor told my husband to go home and make my final arrangements, that I probably have about six months to live. And I said, you know what? I may have cancer, but it don't have me. Though mesothelioma is a very aggressive cancer, it does not mean that there are not some patients who are successfully treated and go on to live good lives without disease or actually live good lives with disease. My name is Heather Bond St. James. I'm an eight and a half year survivor of the disease. I had pleural mesothelioma. We do research, we provide education, we provide support, and we do advocacy. We gather everybody together at the table. Patients get connected, caregivers are connected, people who've lost loved ones are connected. Uh, my name is Kevin Connolly. My dad was diagnosed in October of 2011. From there, I became very aware of the MISO Foundation. Uh, when, you, when you get a diagnosis or your family gets a diagnosis like this, you want to be able to do something um, and not just sit there and watch the disease work. We, we basically have developed a you know, very intimate relationship with all of the researchers in the field of mesothelioma, be they here in the United States, Great Britain, Italy, Australia. We're very proud of being having those relationships and being able to call on them whether we need help with an individualized patient or whether we need help overseeing our research grants program. We have our Meet the Experts series where we interview people who uh, run pharmaceutical companies, we interview researchers, we interview clinicians, we interview people who can impart really pertinent information to the mesothelioma community. Our research program is overseen by our Science Advisory Board, which is comprised of 15 to 16 top mesothelioma experts around the world. We send out a call for grants that goes globally. Those grants then, the proposals come back to the foundation, and they're divvied up among a group of scientists. And what they do is they look at our research grants and they review and they're reviewed by on average three to six people who are making sure that we are funding the best peer reviewed research. We have had nine research recipients go on to receive funding from the Department of Defense that were funded by the MISO Foundation. So we know that our peer reviewed process is working. You know, as with any cancer or any uh, government program, we need a buy-in from the public and we need people to support the program. And of course that brings us to Capitol Hill. Our goal is to make sure that the federal government is funding mesothelioma. Since 2008, the Department of Defense has stepped up to the plate and has funded mesothelioma research. And due to our advocacy efforts, we have seen $9.3 million given to mesothelioma researchers, which is having huge impact on the future of mesothelioma research. Every year, we take a step closer. We have a number of clinical trials that are really showing promise. We also have been uh, very busy and very um, heavily invested in developing a new mesothelioma staging system. To date, there are more clinical trials available for patients than at any other time in history. I can't say enough about the foundation. If you want support, this is the place, again, for not only you, but for your caregivers as well. We are here for the entire community, and we hope that we can continue to work closely together to really make a difference in this disease. We're all family, past and present, and the foundation is why everyone is still here.